The New York Aquarium has a long history, not just with the New York Zoological Society, but with the city of New York. We were founded in Castle Clinton in the Battery in 1896. We're the oldest aquarium in the United States. After a long and illustrious run there, where we were often the most visited attraction in New York City, we were moved to the Bronx Zoo in the 40s in order to make room for the construction of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. It was Robert Moses who brought us back to Brooklyn right here in Coney Island in 1957, where we've been ever since. We were all set for the aquarium's biggest capital expansion project in our history, an exhibit designed to inform New Yorkers about the ocean around us when the ocean around us rose up. Sandy hit the East Coast on October 29, 2012, three days before we were scheduled to break ground. Our first priority was to stabilize the aquarium. After adjusting the design for resilience to another Sandy-like storm, we finally broke ground on January 10, 2014. This complex project had a diverse set of goals. The building and systems had to support best practices in animal care and an exhibit experience that would connect New Yorkers to their waters and foster ocean stewardship. We wanted to identify the primary threats to sharks and show how WCS is working to save sharks locally and globally, and in particular, highlight the New York seascape. Architecturally, we wanted to express the New York Aquarium's identity with enchantment and gravitas, and engage in Coney Island's unique heritage by creating an iconic presence on the Coney Island boardwalk. The Shimmer Wall is a dynamic facade that expresses the exhibit within and evokes images of nature, schooling fish, the movement of water. Powered by the slightest ocean breeze and reflecting ocean and sky, the Shimmer Wall is ever-changing. You step into the building and into a different world. Projected bubbles float upward and sounds of the underwater ocean surround you. Immediately, you are immersed into an Indo-Pacific coral reef, surrounded by beauty and color. Zebra sharks, black and white tip reef sharks, and colorful coral reef fishes remind you of your love for the ocean and introduce the idea that sharks are important to healthy oceans. Next, learn about shark biology and diversity in an interactive gallery. A visitor favorite is a comparison of different kinds of shark teeth and how and why they are different. Overhead, backlit cutouts show diversity of species and form. In addition to showcasing cool facts about sharks, you learn how their slow reproductive rates make sharks especially vulnerable to threats like overfishing, bycatch, and finning, which are addressed as you enter the threats gallery. In this small, dark, oppressive space, you are surrounded by net as if caught up like bycatch. A graphic video shows the act of finning for those willing to watch it. But there is hope. WCS's New York Aquarium is working to save sharks in New York waters. Welcome to the New York you don't know. New York City's undersea neighborhoods are filled with corals and anemones, cow nose rays, and these sheep's heads, which a local neighborhood, Sheep's Head Bay, is named after. You can crawl through the tunnel and be totally suspended in water and surrounded by local marine life. Visitors learn about how our researchers tag sharks. On this boat, you can collect visual data, measure, and sonogram a shark. You can also track where the sharks we have tagged have traveled and understand how this data informs conservation of the New York seascape. Many New Yorkers are not aware of the over 60 shipwrecks off the coast of the city. You explore the shipwreck encountering striped bass, spider crabs, black sea bass, all local species. You may get a peek of a shark swimming by. Canyon's Edge is a captivating view of the edge of the Hudson Canyon, an underwater canyon as tall as the Grand Canyon, which begins at the mouth of the Hudson River and extends underwater 100 miles offshore, a hidden New York City treasure. The brightly lit foreground highlights the animals as visitors get eye-to-eye -eye views and then watch them swim into the seemingly endless ocean. Here you get amazing views of sand tiger, sandbar, and nurse sharks swimming up close, along with many other local species like fluke, hermit, and a large school of pinfish. Blue, our loggerhead turtle, is a crowd favorite. This 387,000 gallon tank is full of life. This is an opportunity for visitors to truly immerse themselves 
and make an affective connection with the ocean and sharks. Up above, there is plenty of space for our animal, veterinary, and dive staff, including a medical room and a medical pool with a hydraulic lift. In the Conservation Choices Gallery, you learn about ocean pollution and the impact of your choices on the ocean. Blue swims by a projection of plastic bags, emphasizing direct human impact in the ocean. You can press a button and make those bags disappear, a first step in empowering you to help clean up the ocean. You can make a pledge not to use plastic bags or stomp out trash. This is where New York City meets the ocean and visitors learn how their personal choices can impact the ocean. Thanks to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, we have opened the East Coast Real Cost Cafe, where visitors can learn about how to make sustainable seafood choices. At the local bodega, you can understand how to make better selections while shopping. Make news by committing to make changes in your behavior to protect the ocean and its wildlife. Send this commitment to the big screen or to yourself to post on social media. Up on the roof deck is the classroom with one of the best views in New York City. The roof deck also has dramatic views of Coney Island and a restaurant where you can grab a drink and a sustainable fish taco or catch the Coney Island fireworks show in the summer. Ocean Wonders Sharks is a bioluminescent glow in the nighttime experience of Coney Island, creating a strong boardwalk presence and contributing to the fabric of the local community and New York City. This exhibit is designed to engage New Yorkers, to inspire them, but not just to inspire them for the moment in which they're in the exhibit itself, but to build a relationship that goes on much longer than the visit, where they work with us to support us in our engagement around protecting the wildlife and wild places that exist right here in New York's waters.